At Edelman, we believe in starting a dialogue about issues that are important to society. Today, we invited business leaders representing multiple industries and sectors to really come together to talk about wellness. We learned that people today are defining health in the broadest of terms. We asked the question to 15,000 people worldwide, how do you define health? And here are some of the responses that we received back. One of the first trends that we examined is that wellness is holistic. Today, health has to move beyond the physical. We need to take into consideration the whole person. One of the pillars of integrative medicine is lifestyle medicine. And we had Dr. Weil talk about integrative medicine and the power of all different facets of our society practicing medicine differently. Integrative medicine is central to a healthcare system of the future. The second trend that we looked at is wellness is rich. When you're healthy, you're very fortunate. I can enjoy $20 in good health more than you can enjoy $20,000 in bad health. We had Quincy Jones III, otherwise known as QD3, for his Feel Rich organization talking about how he's made tremendous strides in the African American and the Latino communities. One of the challenges with Feel Rich is that people thought that like the urban demographic didn't have the attention span or really the, the sort of um, urge to want to see educational material or documentaries. People like not being underestimated. The third trend that we looked at today is wellness is nourishing. We had Professor Jason Riss talk about the research that he's doing at the Harvard Business School that addresses what retailers can do more creatively to help people consume less and eat healthier. We hope that our study, where we did show that people would take smaller portions, can be the start of some kind of cultural change or start talking about right sizing, getting the right size portion. Our fourth trend today is about wellness being very expansive. The medicine cabinet, I think, in our homes is usually filled with medicine, but today we have a wellness pantry. Wellness pantries have really expanded to include all the different tools and products and content and devices that are available to us to live healthy and well. Our vision should be focused on wellness, prevention, and healthy outcomes. We had Ken Finnegan with Walgreens talking about how the retail model is shifting to appeal more to consumers who are interested in getting healthy and well. How Walgreens makes wellness a business imperative and relevant in each local community is because we are part of the community. We reflect the community in which we serve. Another trend that we looked at today is uh, wellness is a connection point. Wellness is connected. We had Google. We had David Blair talk to us about all the different ways that people are connecting today about health. The internet has become the number one resource for health information. And it's not only health information, it's for inspiration, it's for insight and it's really about now how people connect with each other and how they use the internet to actually do that. Another very important trend that we looked at today is how wellness really is health. We now know that health is tied to how you feel, how happy you are. We had Kathy Rogers from the American Heart Association and Kathy's been leading the consumer health um, division of the American Heart Association for many years and has been very successful understanding what makes consumers tick. There's small things that everybody can do and so if we would all try to um, focus on the small things that that would start to really make an impact and have um, many more people engaged in I think the whole concept of wellness. I think another thing that was really exciting about today is the different speakers that presented from their own context what they do. The business has now earned a license to lead and to lead in the issues that matter most in society. Um, there is no issue that matters more in society than health and well-being. It is the very sustainability of humankind. We need to move to a public health system where every sector has something to contribute and every sector um, is innovating and we're all doing it in a way where we actually can create a whole this greater than some of the parts. What I'm most interested to see after today is what happens outside of the room. Are we really able to continue the dialogue and continue taking specific tangible actions for us to come together and agree upon what some of these solutions are um, that are necessary for people to live healthier and well for the long haul?